Hello. Hello. I'm Lynette. And I'm Jim. And this is Rambo. Our Mexican counting dog. Hello. Uh, and we are from a company called Fossey and Jim and we are illustrators. We are. We draw and colour in. We draw and colour in and we do art as a job, um, basically. So when we were asked to do this video, we were asked to talk about how we use maths in our business. Uh, and even that word, maths, uh, uh, vile. Uh, it makes me shudder. Mm. Uh, I hate that it. That was good. Uh. <laughs> um, when I was at school, I absolutely hated maths, which is why I've chosen a career in art, because I could just, I could never understand maths. It frustrated me so much. I just could not get it to go into my head. I just didn't understand it. Yeah, me too. I had an evil teacher. Oh, did you? Yeah, he was called Mr. Lord, and he thought he was God, but cut a long story short, you know, we all didn't do very well in maths in the first year, mm. but we got better because you need maths, even if you think you don't. I um, mean, I, you know, we use it for from constraints in books to what have we got here? So we, you know, we use we got some marshmallows which had to be put on a uh, three centimeter squared. All the way up to 30 metres, which we use for, for our London shows. Yeah, so we do like artwork from a tiny, tiny scale to a massive scale. So we were using maths without even realising, mm. using scales and ratios. And mm. we were tricked into using maths, I feel. Tricked. I feel tricked. See, I had a maths teacher at school called Mr Ruler. Genuine, that's, that's his name. It's made up. Name. No, fact. His name was Mr Ruler. He was really nice. I had a really nice maths teacher, so I was grateful for that. He was very patient with me. Uh, very patient with me. Oh. Um, but I used to get told off for drawing in my maths book all the time. Yeah, I just was not in the game. Standard. Um, yeah, but the more I think about it, in our business, we actually, genuinely, we use maths every single day. And I mm. actually hate to say it, I enjoy it. I kind of do now. I do, because, I'll tell you why. Because Ooh. it's creating the artwork, which Jim's already Ooh. mentioned, which is really fun. Um, but also it's a way that we measure our business. So uh, social media, you might not think that's maths. We use it every single day. I check our social media every day to see who's used it, um, what is our most popular platform that people are looking at. Um, and also it tells you things like who is visiting your social media platforms. So it's kind of like statistics we're getting every single day, um, which is really helpful to us to understand our customer, um, which helps us to sell products basically. So it's I'm actually it's I actually get excited about using statistics, which is really a geeky thing to say. It's quite cringe. If my 15 year old self could hear me now, they'd be like, shut up. But it's true. I genuinely I get excited about using statistics. So I also use. Um, I can't say this word. Yes, you can. Google. You've got to believe. I also use Google Analytics. Yes. Did I say it? <gasps> yes. I use that um, to measure, again, statistics. Um, and there's lots of graphs on there which show you how many people have visited our website, how long they've stayed on the website, what pages they viewed, who is our customer. Um, there's loads of different have a graph, like graphs and flowcharts and all these statistics would really help us understand our business and our customer. So I know from looking at that, that like 70% of our customers are age 15 to 25, and they're mainly women. They mainly use their phones to look at our website. So it's really interesting information. So I know how I can tailor our advertising specifically to that customer. I know that 20% of our customer are 35 to 45 year old women. So it's mainly like the mums of those young people. So I can then target them for advertising. So Christmas is coming up. I can target the mums. Do you want to buy your daughter this cushion? Yes, she does. Yes. So this is really, really useful information. And I'm using maps every day, I'm using statistics, I'm using graphs, I'm using averages, mean, median, mode, all this stuff. It's flashbacking back from school, but it's really useful i didn't realize how useful it was um also in retail so we sell a product um if we sell a product say a cup um in a shop they will charge us a commission of like 25 to 30 percent so we're using percentages um to work out um like how much money they get i then have to work out 
how much does it make, how much does it cost to make a cup, so how much does it cost us, how much do I need to sell it for to make a profit for our business and to cover the cost for the shop. So it's kind of using algebra, I guess, because you've got to try and fill in those missing numbers. Um, so I'm using maths every single day to work out all of this profit and loss um, and all that kind of stuff, really. Do you think I should do more than just colour in? Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we also use um, reports. So every three months we'll get a quarterly report um, which tells us which products are selling um, the best, which products are just not selling at all. Um, so we get, um, again, it's like graphs and statistics. Um, if we have a sale in a shop, we're using fractions, half off this month, <gasps> you know, a third off these cushions. So we're using fractions as well. So we're using loads of maths. Um, and the best bit about maths in our business is probably getting paid. So we have to create invoices for people, add up the services or the products that we're selling, um, and then we put all that into an Excel spreadsheet so we can see exactly how much money we're making, how much profit we're making, or a loss. Um, and it's all really, actually, really useful information for us, um, which I didn't think we would actually need. No. Um, so our takeaway message from this video is even if you absolutely hate maths like us, and it makes you shudder, stick with it, because genuinely in the future, your teacher's voice will come into your head, and you'll be like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it does help, doesn't it? Like Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, mm. something like that. Yeah. Mm. So without sounding too cheesy, maths is your friend. I mean, even our Mexican counting dog can do it. Lift, lift maths, that thing up. Maths is your friend, and so is Rambo. Watch this. Say hello. What, what is two plus one? Great, tonight you eat. So good. Wow. Good luck with your maths, everyone. And see you later. Signing off. <laughs>